guys, welcome back to Chaos Makeup Your Face, where I teach you how to make up your face. Welcome to August Favorites. All the favorites that I'm mentioning in this video is actually on my face. Um, so if you guys would like to see how it looks on my face or how I use it, yeah. This video is going to include beauty favorites as well as non-beauty favorites, but if you guys are interested in knowing what I was enjoying this month, well... I will tell you. I'm going to start off with a foundation that I've really been loving and I don't have the full size foundation. I just got the sample of it but the sample was enough for me to fall in love with the foundation and it is the Estee Lauder full coverage foundation and it's like the face and body one. The lady at Nordstrom did tell me that it is the most full coverage foundation that Estee Lauder carries. So like I said I just have a little sample. Because this is so full coverage you literally don't even need a lot. Just dab my finger in like that, dot it all over my face and that's enough to give me the coverage that I need. If you are looking for a lightweight feeling full coverage foundation even for everyday wear because you could totally sheer it out plus you can mix it with moisturizer or sunscreen just you know get a lighter effect this is a great one it's kind of pricey but it's amazing balls continuing with the face this is a blush that I picked up from Beautycon it is one of the Tarte Amazonian clay 12 hour blushes and this is in the shade inspired which when you look at it you might think oh it looks really similar to exposed but I feel like exposed is a little bit more like brown whereas inspired has a more pink undertone to it so they're both very neutral colors when the woman that sold this to me at Beautycon she did say it was like an exclusive color to Beautycon so um, I'm gonna double check on that. Don't don't take my word for it because I'm not really sure. Um, but I just love that this blush is super pigmented. It creates just a beautiful sheen on your cheeks because there is a little bit of shimmer. I also love that this shade is a great transitioning blush for fall. And the great thing, oh, and the great thing about this blush that I just want to point out is that I got this for ten bucks at Beautycon. Hi. Moving on to eyes, the first eye product is the Benefit Their Real Push Up Liner. And I've actually been holding back on purchasing this product for quite a while just because I wasn't really sure if it was going to live up to the hype that it is. But I just have to mention that it actually is a really great liner. I love the fact that it's a matte liner when it goes on your eyes. I also love the tip. It's a rubberized angled tip which is great for winging out your eyeliner. It's a very fast and quick way to apply your liner. But yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have to say. I guess I don't really... It's nice. So the last eye product that I wanted to talk about are these eyelashes. And these are the Red Cherry Lashes in the... Na well, the name of them is the Hashtag DW. I'm not sure what that means. If you guys do like the Red Cherry number 43 lashes, but you find that they're a little bit too long in length, you're gonna like these ones way better because they fit my eye better without having to trim them. I picked these up from Lady Moss Beauty and they have such a wide selection of Red Cherry lashes that I could not resist picking this kind up because I've never tried them before. I love that you can re-wear Red Cherry lashes multiple times because they're such good quality for what they are. So if you guys haven't tried these kinds and you're looking for a more everyday natural eyelash, try these ones. So the last product that I wanted to mention is a lip product and you know me, I always have a lip product to mention in my favorites videos and this is one of the YSL Rouge Volupte Shine Lipsticks and it's in the number 15 which is named Corail Intuitive. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but it says Corail Intuitive so yeah, and it's not very bright and powerful like a coral color would be, but it just has a slight hint of peach to it, which you know me, I always like having peach lips. I just like that it's a very natural nude color that you can wear every day, and it also leaves your lips with a nice shine and a little bit of glossiness. And I just like the luxuriousness of these lipsticks. They're so beautiful, and they just glide like butter on your lips. They're easy to just throw in your purse, and just, it's very effortless. You don't even need a mirror, just... Done. You're done. Not like, um, like butter, like really butter, but... What the heck is that? There. 
Hopefully that hasn't been sticking out in the whole video because that's kind of annoying. So moving on to my random favorites. I have them here. My first favorite of this month is boyfriend jeans, which I have been kind of obsessed with boyfriend jeans recently. I've literally been like, oh, where are the boyfriend jeans? <gasps> where are the boyfriend jeans in like every store so this is actually my first pair of boyfriend jeans that I purchased back like months and months ago um, even before I went to Australia they're from Aeropostel and they just kind of have these little like slits in the jeans but they are covered with like patches so you don't really see all that skin they're just so nice and comfortable I really like these and I got these for about $21 the next pair of jeans are from PacSun. They were having a buy one get one free sale. So Haley got the second pair but we split the price. So we paid about $26 each. And I like that these are light wash jeans because I've been looking for light wash um, boyfriend jeans. I also like that these have this little like ripped kind of situation going on. It just really flatters my body shape a little bit better so that's kind of why I like them more and I also really like that they're just so comfortable and they're baggy they don't stick to your thighs and stuff like that so these are from PacSun. And the last pair of jeans I got are from American Eagle and these ones are I believe these were $14. I got them off the sale rack and again they have the ripped jeans feel to them. They The rips are more near the knees which I have to be a little bit more careful with because if I sit down I might rip them some more. I just love cuffing them at the end. Again these are really baggy and comfortable um, and I like that instead of having the zipper they have the button so it's something different you know with the boyfriend jeans but yes I love these. Pairing with the boyfriend jeans I like to wear crop tops. Now you can style them however way you like it's up to you what you feel comfortable with but crop tops I feel have been the most flattering again on my body shape it kind of slims me from the top and kind of like makes me hourglass shaped which again I think is really flattering if you guys follow me on Instagram you would have seen this one already but this is from Aeropostel it's got pink pineapples on them and this is only a dollar ninety nine off the sale rack so yes holla for deals and this one is actually um, a top that my friend Carrie gave me. She went to the Brandy Melville warehouse sale and this is only $5. So it just looks like this. It's got little flowers on it and it's just a nice little crop top. Hugs me very beautifully like right underneath your bust. And it's just got these thin straps that crisscross in the back. And yes, I like this. And lastly with the boyfriend jeans I do have a type of shoe that I like to wear and one of them is my firkin flops and I call them firkin flops because they're not real Birkenstocks and while I was in Australia I found these which are pretty much identical to the Arizona's that I've been wanting and these were only $50 so I was like no nah, I gotta get it I gotta get it so the brand of them is lipstick um, I don't remember the store I purchased them from but if you are from Australia you might be able to tell me in the comments um, but yes they're so comfortable I love firkin flops now this is a very acquired taste of fashion so if you aren't a fan of the firkin flops or Birkenstocks then you probably won't you know care I have another style or trend that I like to pair with the boyfriend jeans that might actually be a little bit more towards your style and they are jelly shoes how many of y'all remember back in the day when you had to wear these jelly shoes I love them I love the style and they just work so beautifully with the boyfriend jeans I got these for five bucks in Australia so can't complain but other than that that's all my favorites for this month those are included beauty and my non-beauty favorites if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below if you guys have any questions don't forget to subscribe and share this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye Oh, I forgot to mention that I have already selected the winner of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway and I will leave her username in this down bar if you guys were curious as well as the down bar in the giveaway video. So if you are the winner, then congratulations to you.